Hi guys, Colsey, and today we're going to be revisiting this, the Poker Hatcher. Now, if you haven't seen the other video I did on this, this is a little device that you can use with your Nintendo Switch and with Pokemon Sword or Shield, uh, and it actually helps you hatch shiny Pokemon, to help you hatch shiny Pokemon so that you don't have to do it physically by wandering around in the game and hatching eggs. This will do it automatically. It, like I said, if you haven't seen that video, go and check it out. I'll put a link here so you can go and find it. However, the Poke Hatcher does have a bunch of other uses, and I did mention these in my previous video. So today we're going to be visiting one of those uses, uh, which is Watt Farming. So Watts are a sort of, I guess they're a sort of a currency that you pick up that you can spend on certain things at um, certain people in the wild area. And you collect Watts from, uh, I think you do, you, you can win the bike races, but you collect them from dens and by beating uh, Pokemon that have a certain special effect around them in the wild area. Again, much like the shiny hatching, the poker hatcher can help us do that uh, so that we don't have to do it physically. It can just help us farm those automatically uh, and we don't have to do anything. So I set this thing going the other night. I left it going overnight to gather me a bunch of watts uh, so that we could play with them. So here we go. Let me show you the setup process of how we do the watt farming with the poker hatcher. Okay, so this is the process to actually set up the watt farming. So you have to go to an empty den. You have to put in a wishing piece. Uh, you then have to go and invite others, uh, let it connect. Uh, at this point, you have to then go out of that into your switch settings, desynchronize the clock, and then put the date forward by a month. Uh, these are all the instructions that were given to me with the poker hatcher. You then have to go back in uh, to Pokemon and then quit the matchmaking that you just made, uh, then go back out, back to the settings, then onto the controller and grip order. Uh, you press OK at this point. Uh, and then at this point, now you see the controller. That means that I have plugged in the poker hatcher up to this point. I was setting it all up. At this point onwards, the poker hatcher is now doing everything itself. This is where you just leave it and let it do what it does. So it will continue to do this. It will go back into the den and it will do the same thing pretty much that we just did where uh, it will start matchmaking and then it will it will change the date and then it will leave matchmaking again and it will just repeat this process over and over and over again uh, until you basically unplug it. So uh, I'll let you watch the rest of this little clip, but basically it is just the same thing repeated over and over again, uh, which is doing the actual farming of the watts. Also, I should mention that you guys can go and check out the link in the description to buy yourself a poker hatcher. And if you use code Colsey, you'll save yourself 10% on one of these as well. It's the same as it was last time, but yes, code Colsey will save you 10% on getting yourself one of these poker hatches. So we're here, we're in Pokemon. Uh, I have Pokemon Shield, so this is this is what we're playing. We've done all of the, the farming. Like I said, I left it on overnight a few days ago. And so now we are here, uh, we're back in the game and we're gonna see what we can do with those Watts that we bought. We're going to have a have a little explore. So I think this is the... No, this is... That's not the guy. This is the this is the cooking man. I don't want the cooking man. It's this guy. This guy is the, the what the what man. Spend my watts. I can have a makeover. I can improve my bike. Improving my bike might be a good idea. So as you can see here, I have 261,000 watts, which I, I got from purely just leaving the poker hatcher device on my Switch, farming some watts overnight for me. Can I improve my bike again? Yeah, let's just keep doing it. Oh, 5,000. That's nothing to me. I'm rich. Any more? Any more for any more? Oh, no, that's it. Okay, well, we fully powered up the bike. That wasn't a lot of money, to be fair, but we can spend out what? So I think the th the point is I can buy any and all of these. I, I can buy, I can buy like, uh, you know what? I fancy 10 nest balls. Screw it. 500 watts. Nothing. Wishing piece. How many will you sell me? I'm going to buy 25 wishing pieces. That's right. Now I have them all. I can buy flamethrower. You get the idea, you know, farming watts means that I can just buy all the stuff and give it to whichever Pokemon I want to give it to and it'll be good. Now I have heard 
and I read online, I don't really know about this, but I have read online that if you can find one of these guys that is selling, what was it? Was it luxury balls? We have to find, like I said, we have to find the guy, I'm hatching an egg. Let's just, let's just hatch this egg. I guess I still had eggs on me from when I was hatching shinies. Who knows, it could be a shiny. That would be pretty mad. Hatch that egg. No, it's just, just a normal zigzagoon. The plan is we need to find one of these dudes uh, around in the wild area who is selling luxury balls and then we want to buy them. And we can sell them back to a shop, I think, for a lot more money. So let's go to the map. Uh, where are these people going to be at? I don't, I don't know where these people are. Uh, I'm going to assume that there's definitely one here. So we'll fly here. Here's a dude. Are you selling luxury balls? Oh, you're selling dusk balls. I don't, I don't really want your dusk balls. This man, he could sell the luxury balls. Damn, you're selling nest balls. I don't want those. Aha, uh -huh. you, sir. I would like to spend my watts. Damn, quick balls. Let me just check the map. Oops, wrong button. Right. Now, wh whereabouts were you, mate? Oh, I think I'm, I think I'm like on him. Okay, so he's here somewhere. Oh, pfft, he's right here. Hello. I'd like to spend my watts. Oh, you're sending a netball too. Cool. Right, let me test my theory to see if this works. And let's change the date. Date and time. Do not synchronize the clock. Move it a day ahead. Okay. Right, it, ch it definitely changes the weather at least. But does it change what these guys have? I, I don't think it does. I think that guy still has exactly the same stuff. I can't find a guy selling luxury balls at the minute. Apparently there's no way to fudge that. So uh, we're going to have to wait. I'll catch you guys in just a second. It'll be a second for you, but I'm going to wait <laughs> till tomorrow uh, and have a look again. And once I find somebody that's selling them, the video will continue from there. Okay, it's now the next day. Uh, and again, I have been looking around all of the traders to try and find the luxury balls I'm looking for. And luckily today, this trader apparently is selling the luxury balls that I want. I left this on again uh, last night just to get me some extra watts. Uh, don't actually know what my total is at the minute, so I guess we'll find out. But this guy is selling luxury balls at the minute, so what we're going to do is we're going to buy a whole bunch of them. This is how we get like a whole bunch of money in the game. There's not an easy way to transfer uh, watts money but if you want to transfer what's to money then this is the best way to do it uh, and especially when you're using a poker hatcher to farm the watts uh, it's a super easy way to make money in the game so let's see how much we can actually get right we now have 364,098 watts that's a that's quite a lot of watts so what we're going to do is we're going to buy these luxury balls uh, we're going to buy as many as we can which is 999 uh, I'm guessing I can't buy any more than that. No, I can't carry any more. Uh, right, so what, now that we've bought almost a thousand luxury balls, we're gonna uh, fly with with our flying ability. And we're gonna go to... Uh, we're gonna go here, because I think it doesn't matter. I think it's any Pokemon Center. As long as it's got a shop you can sell to, I, I think that's right. I don't think we have to go to a specific one. So we bought them for 100 watts each. So, in theory, get off the bike. In theory, we're going to be able to see how much 100 watts converts to, as long as you're selling luxury balls, I guess. Right. Oh, yes. Good. I'm here to sell. Yes, I am. Right. Now, we've got a lot of balls here. But what I want to sell is these luxury balls. Oh, so they're 1,500 each. So, by selling 999, I'm immediately going to get basically 1.5 million what are they called? Poker dollars? Poker bucks? I don't know what they're called, but we're going to get one and a half million. There we go. Now we're absolutely flipping minted. Uh, that was that was more money than I've ever had in this game. I haven't completed the game yet, but that's a lot of money. I feel like that's probably enough money to, to keep you going. Uh, I wonder if we can do it more than once, though. Uh, and like I said, these guys change uh, what they're selling, I think, daily. Uh, and apparently, I did do a bit of Googling after I recorded yesterday that there is a there is an easy way or a quicker way to like uh spoof them so that they change but i i couldn't be bothered i figured i'd just i'd just wait and i guess if it took me days and days and days to get these luxury balls uh then maybe i'd look into it but it's only been one day so it's fine okie dokie i'd like to spend my watts again you still selling these luxury balls i'd like to buy more oh dude you can just straight up buy as many as you want in a day oh dude that's pretty nice Okay, easy. Okay, we're easily going to have like 3 million then. I'm not entirely sure 
necessarily why you'd want to do this. I'm not entirely sure what you'd spend money on. But I guess it's a, it's apparently the best way of converting your watts to uh, to money. So if you want to do that, then that's that's ideal. If you just want to farm watts, then the poker hatcher does that anyway. So you're fine with that. I would like to sell. Hey, I know I just bought you a load of... Uh, a load of balls, but would you like to buy a load more balls? Nice. There we go. 3.3 million. That's pretty nice. And then if I want to buy stuff, uh, so say I want to buy ultra balls, dude, easy. They're, they're like, I can get like two ultra balls pretty much for the price I'm selling a luxury ball for. So I uh, don't think I'm ever going to, I don't think I'm ever really going to need uh, cash anymore, to be honest. And I'm probably never going to need watts. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys another cool thing that the, the, the Poke Hatcher device does. Again, I'll leave a link in the description, like I said, and you can use code Colsey to get yourself 10% off one of these. It's a really cool little device. It can be used for multiple things, and there are still lots more things that this can do that I haven't showed you. So again, if you like this video, if you enjoyed it, if you want to see more things that the little Poke Hatcher can do, uh, then please do remember to like, comment, and let me know on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel because that really helps out and uh, lets me know that you guys are interested in this kind of content. Anyway, I really like the poke hatcher. It's a cool little thing. I understand that for some people they might feel like it's a bit cheating, but to me it's just like a kind of cool add-on to, to help the more tedious parts of the game uh, pass quickly. Like obviously you're still going to do all the battles and stuff, but if you just want to get a bit of extra money or a bit of extra watts or maybe hatch some shinies or something, then it's easy to have this and let this device do the stuff for you so you don't have to spend hours and hours and hours doing it yourself when you could be actually enjoying the game and playing the gyms and having battles and stuff which i think personally is my favorite part of the game right anyway thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed it and i will catch you guys next time